Good morning. Thank you very much for joining us, uh, Jide. Good morning. Morning, Chimezi and Ladi. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so Stambik IBTC Pension Managers um, Limited, the largest pension fund administrators of Nigeria with over 3.5 trillion naira assets under management and over 1.8 million retirement savings account holders. What stands you out as a fund manager? Thanks, Chimezi. Um, what stood us out from the onset was our pedigree as a leading wealth management firm uh, in Nigeria, because before the pension scheme started, we were well known for wealth management. And we backed that up with excellent service delivery to our customers over the years, leveraging top-notch technology. And with that came massive goodwill from our clients as well, as they continued to give us um, more referrals leading to significant business, repeat business opportunities. And with that also, we have also focused on sustainable long performance on the funds that we manage, be it the um, public schemes or the approved schemes to continue to deliver consistent returns on those funds. And all of those factors put together, I would say, are the variables driving the sustained growth of Stambic IBTC pension managers of the industry. All right, Mr. Aloha, PEGCOM in November last year announced the new RSA transfer system. Uh, tell us about this uh, new transfer window. So that transfer window was definitely a breath of fresh air. It's something that had been ongoing for a couple of years, uh, finally came live last year. And the objective of, of that was to return power back to contributors because from the onset, contributors were locked in with whichever PFA is selected um, at the beginning. But with the transfer window now, contributors can now move their RSA balance from one PFA to another. And that window is open, is technology driven largely, and contributors are able to do that once in a year. So you can move to another PFA, have another feel, have an experience somewhere else, because like they say, people tend to feel the grass is green now on the other side. So when you experience it, you get a sense of whether or not you have actually been receiving um, you've been receiving great value where you were before. Absolutely. So why would I, as a contributor, want to move to Stambic IBTC or retain it as my PFA? And that's a very, very important question. And I say that because we've seen situations where people who are making uninformed decisions with respect to the movement of their um, RSA balance, some are moving it because um, their friend is suggesting so or because they received some half-picked information out there. Or for some people, it's just because there's a particular PFA that is giving them whether it's birthday cake or another form of gift. Um, but for us at Stambic IBTC, we believe that consistency is a very, very important factor that contributors should consider with respect to their pension balance. And that's because for most people, your contribution or your pension is actually the largest pool of assets that most people own. So you shouldn't treat it like a bank account that you are just jumping around the place. You want to check out the industry and look for PFAs who can offer sustainable performance. And when I talk about sustainable, I look at it both in terms of service delivery and performance of the fund. When you're looking at service delivery, you're looking at a PFA that has top-notch access a PFA that offers convenience, a PFA that you can reach at any point in time. And at Stambic IBTC, that's something we pride ourselves with. We have the largest reach in the, in the nation because our service locations are all over the country. We also support that with digital platforms that enable you to access your pension and do the most basic services remotely from the comfort of your home. And then more importantly, when you look at performance as well, We've continued to deliver sustainable long-term returns on the pension. If you look at it over a long term, you would see that the funds managed by Stamic IBTC pension across the various buckets have actually um, delivered top-notch returns. So we're in the top tier performance across the various um, categories. So those are some of the things that we think contributors should consider very strongly with respect to making a decision to move their pension balance. All right, still looking at returns. What are the conditions uh, for 
uh, moving, you know, based on uh, returns specifically? So when you look at return, I, I, the very first thing I would like contributors to be mindful of is that pension funds are long-term investments. So don't make a decision based on three months return or one year return. I would say not even three years return. You want to look at return on your fund over a long period of time because, you know, investment management is like sowing seeds. So the farmer that is sowing, maybe planting vegetables, will probably reap the harvest in a three months period. The person that is planting cocoa would have to wait for years to reap the reward of that investment. But when you look at it over that long term, then the value of planting cocoa should actually show in the performance of that PFA. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that compare like return with like, because there are four different fund types in the industry. Well, five, if you had the informal um, sector as well. So you want to compare fund one with fund one, compare fund two with fund two, and do it over a long period of time, like I said. Another important variable to consider is to also be mindful of the nature of risk that your PFA is taking, because risk and return are opposite sides of a coin, right? If I take higher risk on the fund, then potentially I can deliver higher return. But check to be sure that that return is commensurate to the risk that is being taken. For instance, if I look at a risk for the purpose of this discussion, let's say I take a risk scale of one to 10. I have one PFA that has delivered return of say 10% by taking risk of a scale of two. Another PFA has delivered 15% by taking risk of four, which is two times the guy that delivered 10%. So, while 15% looks great, if you really dig through and you look at the risk, the underlying risk, the guy who delivered 15% should actually be delivering 20 because he's taking on more risk. And with that means that sometimes there will be a reversal of some of those um, things that look great. And we saw that um, last year. Last year, for instance, there was an instance where some PFAs were delivering 20%, 30%, 40% return in a period where the entire yield curve was in single digits. That clearly shows you that there is higher risk components that has been built into the performance of those funds. Now, if you don't understand that, you make a decision just based on that short-term development, and you may pay a huge price for it, because as we are seeing today, a lot of those returns have reversed, and returns have gone from those 20, 30, 40% to negative returns. So be sure that you are looking at the underlying risk that the portfolio manager is taking. And then the last point that is also of importance is also understand that the return on the fund is different from your return as a contributor, okay? Because the timing of inflows and outflows plays a huge role in the return ultimately. So take a look back as well and compute your own individual return over the period whilst comparing it to the total return of the fund. Those are some of the things that I think are very, very important for contributors to consider before they make a decision on whether or not to move their pension balance. All right. Now, this um, development, no doubt, will foster competition. And, uh, of course, Thambi KBTC uh, pension managers have always been at the top. How do you hope to stay at the top? Without a doubt, we expect to continue to sustain the leadership of the industry, um, not just to sustain it, but we are very, very convinced that the transfer window gives us opportunity even to double our market share. And we are seeing early fruits of that because for us, we are part of the largest bank in Africa, a bank with over 155 years experience. And with that comes the ability to access global platforms, to leverage the performance of the fund and also offer great services to our customers. So as we continue to push that message, we expect that we can literally double our market share in the industry just All based right. on this opportunity that Transfer Window presents. All right. According to a pension Nigeria report, uh, Stanbeg IBTC's pension funds uh, delivered the highest uh, rate of uh, on investment in February 2021. And, and this, uh, the company's RSA funds have yielded 
good returns for uh, its customers. How is Stambic IBTC Pension Managers able to achieve this? Thank you very much, Ladi. So for us as Stambic IBTC Pension Managers, we focus on sustainable long-term returns. And I'm emphasizing that message because I mean, a lot of noise goes on in the industry. People are, are showcasing one month return, three months return. But for us, we look beyond the short term and focus on long term. And that's because pension funds, I mean, there are contributors who still have 20 years to work, some have 10 years to work, some have five years. Even those who are in retirement that are in fund four are hoping that they will live long. So they are still expecting they will be alive for another 10, 15 years or more. So to that extent, we focus on long-term returns on our fund. We make investment decisions today that will yield return, not just in another one, three months, but over the long term. Another factor that we consider very strongly is the security and safety of the assets that we manage. At us, our outstanding IBTC pension managers, we consider the fact that return on capital is sometimes even more important than return on investment. And by that, I mean that there are opportunities in the market that we sometimes we decide not to invest in because we are not comfortable regarding the risk element and the implication of adding that particular security to the overall risk component of our portfolio. So we look out for securities that will give us a blended return while also optimizing while a blended risk outcome while also optimizing the return on the portfolio. And then the last thing is that we leverage global platforms for our research. We are very, very big on research. And that's because investing requires us making a forecast of the market direction down the line, whether it's three months, whether it's three years. And so to that extent, we work with global partners that gives us that barometer to be able to anticipate where the opportunities will come from. And then we do our best to position our funds to take advantage of those opportunities. And those are some of the things that help us to sustain the performance of the funds as family private pension money. All right, Jide, a quick one before we let you go. Many workers in Nigeria are still averse to contributing to pension accounts. In fact, majority of contributors literally make those contributions unwillingly because the contributions are deducted before they receive their salaries. What strategies uh, is Tambic IBTC pension managers putting in place to change this um, negative perception people have towards um, pension funds? And how do you ensure that people actually get their pension as at when do? So, Jimmy, say, while the pension scheme may not be perfect, right, the fact is that it has made a significant improvement to the quality of life of Nigerians. For instance, at Stambic IBTC pension managers, we have paid out over 900 billion to retirees. And that's quite significant. It wasn't so before the scheme came into being. So it's not perfect, but we continue to improve things. We also proactively lead various industry engagements that would help to improve whether it is the process that speaks to the ability of contributors to access their benefits with convenience, even right. up to strengthening the investment guideline themselves. Okay. Those are some okay. of the things we focus on and educating All right, contributors too. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Jide Alo. Thank you for speaking to us um, this morning. We do appreciate your time. Have a blessed day.